It was swim at your own risk on the South Shore. Duxbury police received a call that a shark was spotted just offshore. Paul Burton reports it made for an uneasy day at the beach there. We sat for about 15 minutes and then we didn't see it again. Jenna Sheedy says she was standing on the beach around 6.30 Sunday morning when her best friend came running out of the beach house on Ocean Road North in Duxbury. She told me not to get in the water and I'm like, I'm not about to get in the water. I was fully clothed. And I said, why? And she said, I think that's a shark. And I, I looked out and I'm looking and, I'm, and we're watching it go up and kind of float a little ways and go and, and come up and back. I'm like, it has to be. That's that's all it can be. So it was definitely, uh, we watched it for a few minutes. Jenna then called 911. Moments later, the Duxbury Harbor Master issued a warning to beach goers saying they would be swimming at their own risk after the unconfirmed shark sighting. Coast Guard came and they said there's a lot of seals that have moved up from the south. So that's something that they see more frequently. So they were looking out for it. Robert Reed says his nieces and nephews know the rules when it comes to shark sightings. You're worried because there is seals out there a lot. Now the kids know when they see a seal, time to come in. A week ago, a lobsterman spotted a great white shark off the coast of nearby Plymouth, leading to a closure of several beaches for 24 hours. On Sunday, the Duxbury beaches remained open, but folks were very cautious. As much as we don't want to believe it's close, we know that there was they were in Plymouth not long ago, so we got to, you know, keep an eye on our kids. We're trying to shark. find the shark. Kaylee, Lily, and Connor were using their shark tracker app to see if they could pinpoint it. So what's the rule today? Uh, you should like don't go, don't go out of that water. If don't your go parents... above your waist. In Duxbury, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.